Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to make a modern logo in Affinity Designer. To begin our modern logo, we're going to make a triangle in the center of our document. So let's select the triangle tool, and while holding down shift, we'll click and drag to make a perfect triangle. Then while hovering over any of the edges of this box, we can move the triangle and place it in the center of our document. Then go ahead and give your triangle any color that you want. Next, we'll duplicate the triangle by pressing Command or Control J. We'll give the duplicate triangle a different color just so we can distinguish between our two triangles. Next, we're going to resize our duplicate triangle so it's smaller and in the center of our original red triangle. To do this, we'll click and drag on this corner handle while holding down Shift and Command or Control. Then I'm just going to bring this blue triangle down a little bit. While holding down Shift, I'll click on the red triangle's layer, and then we're going to use the Subtract Boolean operation to cut our blue triangle out of the red triangle. So let's come up here to the top and press on the Subtract Boolean operation. We're now going to zoom into our triangle, which we can do by double-clicking on its layer icon over here. We're now going to use the Pen tool to make new shapes covering up this triangle. First, we'll press P for the Pen tool. Then I'll come somewhere over here and click once on the triangle. Then I'll click once over on this edge, and click down on this corner. Then we're going to bring our shape somewhere out here before it gets to the center. So since the center point is right here, I'm going to bring it a little bit to the left, and then click to make my point. I'm going to make another point up here, and I'll make sure it's perfectly straight with this node by holding down shift, and then clicking once. Now I'll click on this edge of the triangle, and then close my shape by clicking on the original node. Then we can give our new shape whatever color we want. I'm going to remove its fill by clicking on the fill icon here, and then pressing on No Fill. For the other half of our triangle, we want the exact same shape that we made over here. To do this, we're going to duplicate our blue shape. We can do this by pressing Command or Control J. Then we'll right click anywhere on the screen and scroll down to Transform, Flip Horizontal. Then we can use the Move tool to place our shape on the opposite side of the triangle. You can press V for the Move tool and then move our new shape. Then just give it any color you want. You can learn from my mistake though, as I was actually changing the stroke and not the fill, so I'm going to press on no stroke once again, and then make sure I have the fill selected when I change the shape's color. We're now going to make another new shape, so let's press P for the pen tool, and then click once at the top of the triangle. Then we'll come down here and click once again. Then we'll come over here and lay down another node, and then continue making nodes until we close our shape. Then we can give our shape a new color. Then we can use the same technique that we used before. First, I'll press Command or Control J to duplicate this orange shape, and then I'll right click anywhere in the document and go to Transform, Flip Horizontal. Then with the Move tool, I'll reposition this new shape and then give it a new color. For our design, we want to have a gap in our logo down here. Because we no longer need the original triangle, I'm simply going to delete it. So I'll select the triangle in the Layers panel and then press Delete. For convenience, let's place all of these layers in the same group. First, I'll click on the bottom layer and then while holding down Shift, I'll click on the top layer. Then we can press Command or Control G to group them. I think this logo would look better 
if it was just a little bit wider, so I'm going to increase its width just a little bit. And finally, we're going to rotate this group by clicking and dragging on this circle right above the shape. We want to make it so the top part of the logo is completely level. To make sure the top is level, we're going to use the ruler. To bring out the ruler, you can press Command or Control R. Then with the Move tool, we can click and drag on this top ruler to bring down a guide. We can see that our shape isn't quite level, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and continue refining it until it's level with this line. Now that our shape is level, we no longer need this ruler or guide. I'm going to put away the ruler by pressing Command or Control R, and then hide the guide by pressing Command semicolon. Now we'll see our entire document again by pressing Command or Control 0. Then I'll just place our group in the center of the document.